Hey guys, what's up? This is Crypto Cody, and I'm so excited to do another video with you guys. Um, today we're going to be talking about Ontology. Um, what an awesome cryptocurrency. Um, and before we get into it, I just want to remind everybody I'm no financial advisor, and I just want to encourage you guys to understand this. You know, there are not a lot of financial advisors in on the YouTube world when it comes to cryptocurrency. There's just, you got to understand, most people are investing in cryptocurrency because of the hype. They're investing in it because you know, certain words are, you know, sound cool, like ontology or Ethereum or, you know, different cool words. I mean, when you look up this word, do we, what does this even mean? A branch of metaphysics dealing with the nature of being. Wow, that is profound. Look at that. That's actually a, really, it's, it's a very profound name. And, uh, you know, I mean, and actually it's, it's kind of funny because that is like for sure, like right on target with what this is all about anyways, which makes sense because that's what it's, that's what they wanted. But, you know, a lot of people don't even know what they're investing in. They're just investing in because there's hype, hype, hype. That's what this cryptocurrency world is all about right now. Okay, that's that's the time we're in right now with cryptocurrency. And I just want to encourage you guys to uh, make investments based on your own personal judgments and beliefs of those projects. And by doing so, read the white paper. Okay, the white paper right here. And we're going to go over that just a little bit uh, with our ontology. I brought up the white paper. I'm not going to go through all of it. I'm just going to go through a little bit just to make a point. But, um, you know, read through that stuff. Make sense of it for yourselves. And so let's hop into it. So ontology. <clears throat> um, what an awesome cryptocurrency. I mean, I, I, I think that there's a lot of amazing things that you can talk about regarding this particular cryptocurrency. But just I want to really simplify it. I like to try to simplify things as much as I can on this channel. But, you know, Forbes said this. A trust search engine with... Um, Providers authentications and connects services. Okay, so here's the key word here and we're gonna go over that in a second But ontology distributes this is crypto insider that stated this um, Ontology's distributed trust platform defines digital identity protocols. Okay, so the key word that Forbes and crypto insider put out here is the word trust they use the word trust here they use the word trust here, okay, and when you actually look up ontology um, and you, you know, look into other people that are talking about it, it really is all about trust, okay? And, you know, ontology, ready for all businesses, okay? They're trying to create a serious, serious trust um, for businesses and for people. And just to dig into that, okay, I want, you know, let's take a look at the white paper for a second. Imagine this, okay? So ontology can provide a distributed um, infrastructures to a range of scenarios without service providers having previous knowledge of distributing networks, blockchain, or cryptography. List below, or listed below are the scenarios that can benefit from the um, integrations into ontology. Okay, so check out this. Think of the word, I want you guys to think about it like this. Think of the word trust and look at these particular scenarios. Okay, finances. Okay. Um, Internet of Things. Okay, and I mean, look at these different, you know, these different things that are displayed in that. Okay, uh, consumer, <clears throat> payments, media, insurance. Okay, look at some of these software development. You know, government. That's huge. Like, think about it like this. I mean, this is just a small example. Imagine trust in voting. What has the media been talking about, guys? It's been talking about how, you know, <laughs> I don't want to get all political, but imagine, like, think about the lack of trust, quote-unquote, okay, that the media has been talking about, okay? Did, was, the, was the voting tampered with or not from other countries? You know, imagine being able to not have to worry about not having to, you know, question the trust of our votes, um, at least here in the United States of America, uh, which is where I'm from, you know, imagine having a system that you don't have to question it, okay? Vehicle registration, benefits, I mean, guys, copyrights, this could be huge for even musicians, uh, not just governments, but think about medical, you know, record, and actually, you guys, there's so many scenarios you can go over with this thing, but I just want, this. the simplest way for me to explain this is just thinking about um, just the word trust, okay? the word trust and going over all those different topics. I don't know what just happened there, so I can have 
So that that's huge. All right. Now the other thing too is this: is that I want to talk about the numbers a little bit with you guys. So right it's now, twelve um, o'clock. No, right now it's twelve o'clock once again. Um, so the market cap as of right now, one hundred and seventy-eight billion. Okay, we you know we've been playing around with this idea of getting out of this bottom, and we're starting to see some rise in the total market cap. Now with ontology. Okay, I'm, first of all, this is a beautiful number right here. This is awesome. I mean, I love seeing the red. I love investing in the red. I don't know about you guys, but I get all excited about it. And, um, you know, I just, I think that red is like a sweet apple. Whereas green, that's like a sour apple to me. That's how I look at it. So I, get, I feel really good when I can invest in the red. But let's talk about this. So number one, it's in the, it's in the top 20, okay? This is really good. I mean, especially uh, considering its release date. I mean, it was released. Um, let's take a look at the markets. <clears throat> Let me see. If I'm not mistaken, it was released back in like March, I think. Yeah, back in the March, around March, okay, it was released. And I mean, think about it like this, okay? It was released in March around that time, okay? It was sitting at you know two dollars and sixty two cents. When you look at where our market was at back in March of two thousand eighteen, the beginning of March. I mean, we were looking. We were just getting ready to have. I mean, we were. We were getting pretty close to having that final drop down. Okay, so it was around that time. So obviously, we fell down pretty far as a total market cap, all right? And then Ontology had kind of that fall too, a little bit. But then it just exploded because it started having some really good talk about it. And this is what's so interesting is that it had an explosion. Um, I think it hit, yeah, about 10, it was over just over $10 that it saw. And this was back on May 4th. Now, May 4th, Let me see. May 4th, the whole market started to go back up. So that's, you know, that makes sense as far as where, why Ontology was taken off. But so here is where the total supply was around the time that Ontology saw its total peak, okay? The total market capitalization was about 450 ish billion dollars, okay? 450. So we're talking about less than half a trillion, just just less than half a trillion, all right? And Ontology was sitting at that beautiful $10, okay? So that's, that's what it saw. Now, when you look at this, okay, we're talking about 8xing eight, eight your money, okay? And this was, you know, I mean, this was... Like, I, I want you guys to think about this for a second, okay? This came out at a really interesting time. It came out right around the time that we, you know, had a lot of people thought that we saw the bottom, but we still had a lot more to go. But people were freaking out. We were, you know, the money was just going down. The The bear market had begun. We were just, like, really getting ready to just kerplop, you know? And this thing came out, and it really held some serious strength for the entirety of this uh, of this bear market, and so it's now starting to do well. I mean, it, we're we're seeing it in the top twenty, which I personally think investing in even in the top fifty with this kind of a total market cap supply is unbelievable. Um, but what's neat though is is that your total supply here is only, and guys, it's only one billion, and that's a really small number. I mean. I guess what I'm trying to say is this. This this number right here I believe not only is going to see past $10, which was its initial high. I think it's going to go, you know, when we when we go back to seeing Bitcoin at 20,000, when when we start to see this, you know, at 800 billion again like it once was or, you know, even going up to a trillion, 
this number right here, I believe, is going to this easily between twenty and fifty dollars worth. Absolutely, but it's all in how it's marketed. And here's the thing: <clears throat> it's marketed well as far as exchanges go. Um, you got Binance. I mean, you got you got a whole lot of different. Um, I mean, there's some on here that I'm not seeing actually. That's interesting. Like I'm not seeing. I'm seeing Bitmax. I'm not seeing Bittrex. So you have some, you know, smaller exchanges, but you also have. I mean, you got Binance. You have some some bigger ones as well. You have HitBTC. You have, you know, you have some you have some good exchange marketing. Okay, but you also have some room for growth because it's going to go into some other new exchanges. But it's really just, you know, here's the thing, guys. Having adopting the philosophy of something that is a more trustworthy system is a wonderful philosophy, but it's it's a it's kind of a narrow, it's a very narrow um, path. I mean, this is a beautiful concept, and I love it, and I think it's great. And it kind of reminds me, you know, of, of a few other different cryptocurrencies out there that are trying to do the same, somewhat of the same thing. Um, but really what it comes down to is this, is that it's a wonderful philosophy. It needs some more strength. It needs some more marketing that's going to help it really take off. Um, but just the fact that it's in the rank 20, it's a, only a billion. I mean, total supply. That's really, really good. And it's at this price. I think it's a killer buy right now, and I think that if you hold on to it long term, you'll you'll see this number. I believe you'll see this number hit at least between twenty and fifty dollars. I really do believe that. Um, I think it's a wonderful buy even today because you're down in the red, so you feel good about yourself knowing that you bought in the red. And you know, I mean, I think that as far as the charts go, it's just, I mean, if if it can hit this kind of a price with you know the total market cap as we saw it you know was less than half a trillion yeah i really think you're going to see some really good numbers with this so if you guys are ontology lovers if you guys like ontology or if you're curious about ontology making money with it i think it's a great buy i really do um i think that like i said it just needs some more strength it just needs some better marketing it needs some people to start hyping it up in some big ways. But overall, the numbers make a lot of sense to me. I think the concept is beautiful. And um, I think that we're going to see some beautiful things coming out of out of this particular cryptocurrency. So, yeah, I, I definitely, I personally have not invested in it yet. Um, but if I was going to, I think I'm, this is about, this is pretty close to about the time that I would do it. So, but um Anyways, guys, yeah, so that's my opinions on investing in this particular cryptocurrency. Please leave a comment, like my video, let me know if, uh, you know, if you guys like what you, or just share your thoughts with me, please, I'd love to hear it. Um, I, I've just recently started learning about ontology, but from an investor standpoint, I like the numbers, I like what I'm seeing. Um, I think that there's some other cryptocurrencies out there that I'd almost rather invest in, but I do like the numbers with this one, I really do, so... And uh, cheers to the company, seriously. I think they're doing a wonderful job, especially with what their plans are. I, I want to be involved in things that are trust. It's all about trust, so I think that's great. So, All right, guys, thanks so much. Have an awesome, awesome day, night, morning, wherever you guys are. All right, see you all.